Hey guys, uh, my name is Demetrius and this is my first uh, unboxing video. Today I'll be unboxing the uh, HP Envy uh, with the i7 Intel Core processor. Uh, this guy is my other 17 inch, I'll set this one aside. We'll be unboxing this guy uh, today. Just right out of the mail, straight from, uh, well, it looks like Japan. Uh, I'm not sure where it was assembled, but anyways, let's get to it. This is my first unboxing video, so forgive any mistakes. Careful with uh, sharp edges, you don't want to scratch the actual device inside. So uh, let's get right to it. You'll see you got the laptop with two cushions on the side. to keep the laptop nice and safe in transit. Set these guys aside. So we have these two protective sleeves on the ends with the phone. And then in the box you get some warranty stuff directly from HP. And then we have a just your basic setup instructions. And then in the far end of uh, the box, we have the equipment. So let's take a look. Let's jump right in. So here's the actual uh, the actual device. This is a HP Envy 17-inch uh, screen or 17.3-inch screen to be more precise. Uh, with the Intel i7, this is the fifth-generation i7 core processor, 16 gigs of RAM and one terabyte of hard drive space. It has a GTX NVIDIA video card with four gigs of space on that, which is, I'd say, a, a powerful unit. So here's the laptop itself. First look at it. It's a pretty slick look. Compared to the equivalent older Envy, it's uh, a lot more round. This one has more of a kind of futuristic look. Uh, they cut off the corners there and sloped it down just a bit. It has that kind of brushed finish, aluminum finish, and the emblem does light up when the computer's on. Uh, so in comparison, it looks like size-wise they're about, well, pretty much the same. It's just this one's just a bit slimmer, and it looks like this one sits just a bit higher, especially in the back where it sticks up just a bit. Uh, you have the Hewlett Packard emblem in the back, as well as on this unit. And then bottom shows your Drape Beats uh, audio emblem. The battery must be in the box, so I haven't put that in just yet. And then on the older one, this one is also the Envy 17.3 uh, uh, inch screen with uh, 8 gigs of RAM, the i5 uh, quad core processor. It has your Dre Beats audio emblem. And on the bottom, it shows Dre Beats with, well, it says it's a mini sub. It says HP triple base reflex subwoofer. You know, honestly, I haven't felt any difference with a subwoofer or on my other laptops. So. Not a huge fan of Dre Beats. I, if it was up to me, I'd, I'd go with something like Bang, Bang and Olufsen. Uh, but it is what it is. Let's jump right in. Uh, in the box, let's see what comes comes with it. So you have one part of the power cord. This must be the actual battery strip. Wow, this is tiny. This is literally half the size of my old HP battery. If you take a look, that's the battery unit, nice and thick. Yes, this one's a little longer, but it's literally, this one's three times as thin as this guy here. Very interesting, and it says it lasts four and a half plus hours, so we'll have to uh, put that to the test. And let's take a look what else we got in here. So we have the actual adapter, and then that's pretty much it. So we have warranty, basic instructions, the unit itself, battery, and then the charging cable. 
pretty standard size, same size on my other Envy. Uh, what I do like about this power cord, it has the, uh, what do you call it, the elbowed power cord. So when you plug it in, it's not sticking out of your laptop, you know, two inches or so and getting in the way. Uh, so pretty nice. Well, let's jump right in. Let's take a look. Power the thing up. Okay. So let's plug the battery in. Okay, so we have the lips pop into here. And there we go. Well, let's release it. Try that once more. There we go. It's in place. So on this one we have the charging cable plugs in here. And uh, so here's what we got in, ter in terms of ports. We have charging cable. You have, that's the security uh, notch right there, Ethernet. You have your vent for uh, the fan, HDMI, two USB 3 ports, and a SD, SD card port. This side, we have the actual DVD drive. It is the rewritable, so you could burn your CDs and DVDs on this puppy, uh, USB 3. And this one's a universal microphone and head, headphone uh, jack, so two in one. Pretty nice. That LED will show the, uh, the movement of the hard drive, and that shows if the power is on. On the back, you have no ports, pretty clean design, and then the front as well. Let's go and power it up. Okay. So on this one, they have a bigger not sure what that is. They have a bigger Dre Beats audio emblem on the side. On that one, it was just the B itself. So it shows the NVIDIA GeForce GTX graphics card. It has a larger mouse pad on my other NV. It's about, well, a third smaller fingerprint reader they brought over from this side, which was very convenient. So it's just slide your right hand. Now it's on the left side, so you have to reach over and scan on your left hand. Uh, it looks like they have a, a larger uh, audio, a little section here for the speakers. Uh, keyboard looks the same. It looks a little more refined. On that one, it has these uh, inserts that look just kind of out of place. Uh, let's go and power it up. And of course, you have your webcam on the top here. Pretty solid movement. No jagged, no uh, creaking. You have your Envy emblem right there. This one is with the backlit, the backlit keyboard as well, so that's always kind of nice if you're doing uh, homework uh, at night or whatever. So to put in comparison, here's my old Envy. There's this guy. Old Envy again. The uh, the newer is a bit slimmer, but I do think it's a little more uh, refined, clean look. More of like a Mac look to it on the inside as opposed to this one. Smaller mouse pad. You don't have the two big buttons on this one as you have on the older one. It has a, gr a chrome trim around, which uh, honestly is a little pointless uh, because you get a bunch of just dirt and grime that gets in there. Uh, again, that fingerprint reader right there, it was brought over, which I wasn't too excited about. This one does have a 10 key as well, that one. Uh, it looks like they have less space here for the speaker, so I would assume the speakers, the tweeters themselves, would be smaller 
than on the newer unit. Uh, I'm not sure if this one was manufactured in the United States. I know HP has moved a lot of their plants over to China, which is very unfortunate, but I do know this one is assembled, uh, and if not all components were built in China. When I, uh, I bought it on Costco, I picked it up for uh, $700. It was, it was $699 uh, plus tax and shipping. I paid, paid about $25 uh, for shipping itself and about $45 or so for tax in Washington State here. And uh, when I pulled it up on, the tra on FedEx tracking, it was in China and uh, it was sitting in some facility for like over two weeks or so up until they got it shipped over here to uh, the U.S. Uh, into Tennessee and then to Washington uh, and then to my place. Uh, so in comparison, it looks like this screen is just a bit slimmer overall. So they've uh, saved quite a bit of uh, thick, thickness space as opposed to this guy here. Uh, overall, this one does have a little more of a uh, expensive look with that brushed aluminum finish as opposed to this guy. It's just kind of plain, but it's a clean plane, which is very nice. Uh, I, I do prefer this look over this one. Uh, interesting change, this one curved down as opposed to this one curves up. So they change it up just a bit. I think this one's a little more of a solid uh, unit. Handling this one, this one feels like it's, uh, it's built of heavier duty uh, material as opposed to this one. The difference in these two is, is about three years. This one's about three years old. And this one, of course, is brand new. Uh, I do think that uh, $699, so uh, after tax and everything, I paid uh, $788 for this laptop that's with shipping, uh, is a pretty uh, pretty good deal. That's a lot of bang for your buck because this one has a lot of power. Uh, it has the fifth generation i7 core processor, which actually clocks faster than the sixth generation i7 core processor. Uh, and of course, Intel is a solid way to go. You know, you don't, you don't have to worry about uh, overheating. Uh, there's four uh, gigabytes of dedicated uh, space on uh, the actual graphics card and it has the NVIDIA GTX uh, GeForce graphics card. Uh, it has one terabyte of hard drive space, beats audio for the audio system, and uh, it also has 16 gigs of uh, DDR3 RAM. So pretty solid unit. I mean, most of these laptops with these specs will be priced right around in, in the range of $1,000, if not more, depending on where you buy it. Best Buy unit like this will be sitting right around $1,100. And then, of course, uh, if you look around Costco, it sometimes has uh, better savings. So, And then they also have a great return policy, so that's always a nice uh, place to check out. This one I picked up on Black Friday at Best Buy. I didn't stay in line, I actually just walked in as soon as the doors opened. Uh, and there was one more unit left. I asked them for it. They brought it out from the back and I uh, picked it up for like about $550. This one has the third generation i5 uh, quad core processor with eight gigs of RAM, 750 uh, gigabytes of hard drive space. And uh, what else? I'm not sure on the graphics card, but overall it's a pretty solid unit as well. Has a backlit keyboard, so you can just hit that, turns on, same on that one. You, you hit it and it does seem like on this one you have a lot more spacing in between the actual the layout of the keyboard and the gaps there's a lot more light uh, leaking out as opposed to this one It's a little more refined so they've worked it out just a bit and then it looks like that keyboard itself was set in there so there's a crease that collects a bunch of dust and uh, dirt and then this unit is one piece so that entire top is one piece of aluminum and it's nice. So the difference between the Envy's and the Pavilions is with the Envy, you have more of a premium unit. You have the aluminum body. Uh, you have a lot of uh, premium components as opposed to the, pla the Pavilion. That's more your, uh, e well, let's see, economy kind of uh, laptop from HP. And then with the with the Envy, you'll get stuff like the fingerprint reader, back the the backlit keyboard, which is very nice. I love that. Uh, you'll, you have the premium audio system, you'll have a better graphics card and a better processor chip as well as RAM. So definitely worth it, I think. Uh, you know, throw down an additional two, three hundred dollars and you get yourself an Envy, you get yourself the premium, the best of the best, uh, I think, in the Windows world. I'm not a big Dell guy, 
not a huge fan of Lenovo and Asus and other ones out there. Uh, I've stuck to HP and they've, uh, they've done me well. Uh, anyways, if you guys have any questions, uh, subscribe, so send me a message into my inbox and uh, I'll, I'll do my best. Thank you and take it easy.